were here appropriately in the Jerusalem hills. Qumran, it's impossible to overestimate the importance of this place. The history of Jewish-Christian relations immediately raises a number of questions. How could it be that two groups that came from the same soil grew in such different directions? The Hebrew scriptures are filled with geography, names of towns, rivers, springs, trees, and even rocks. These were places known to the audience for which the scripture was first written. Some say he was a revolutionary. Others say he was a good teacher and maybe even a prophet. How is it possible to know the truth about Jesus of Nazareth? Qumran is one of very few discoveries that have shook up the world of Second Temple historians and archaeologists, as well as biblical scholars, both Jews and Christians. Christianity became less Jewish, then non-Jewish, and ultimately anti-Jewish. What were the historical and theological factors that led to this? That's what we'll discuss here. This unit will look at the basic physical setting of the Bible or at least those parts of the Bible that took place in the Levant, that is, Lebanon, Syria, Jordan, and Israel of today. The more we know about the background, the more we'll appreciate about his life and message. This is true as well for the original disciples, Paul, and the early church as well. It's all Jewish. In this course, we will explore the Dead Sea Scrolls and the life of the Qumran community and discuss their important contributions to the study of the New Testament. These and other questions will be addressed in our conversation with New Testament scholar and prolific author, Dr. Craig Evans, as we discover the historical Jesus in the pages of the New Testament. Dr. Evans, thanks so much for joining us here in Jerusalem for this course. My pleasure. 